Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm part of the staff at A Sprinkle of Fun. Today I'm going to be giving you a canvas lesson on how to paint a panda. This is what we're going to be doing. So to start off, you're going to need your two brushes. You should have a big square one and a smaller round one. And a paper towel to dry them and clean them. And of course your canvas. The paint that we're going to be using is black, white, green, and gray. So we're going to start with the big brush, so just make sure that that's clean and dry. And we're going to start with the head of the panda. So you're going to dip your big brush in the light gray paint. Just a little bit of paint is fine. And we're going to make a circle on the canvas for the panda's head. So just a light circle is fine because we're going to go over it later anyway so you don't need it to be too dark and filled in. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the body. So again with the big brush and the light gray paint we're going to make another circle underneath that and it's going to look a little bit like a snowman right now. So just another bigger gray circle. Again, it's going to look something like a snowman. The next thing we're going to do again with the light gray paint on the big brush is we're going to add the two feet. So we're going to make one foot on each side and it's going to be like two circles. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit with the stomach because we'll fill it in later. So that's what the two feet should look like. It's okay if the color is a little bit streaky because again, we're gonna go over it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the ears. So for the ears, we're gonna do about half a circle on each side, again with the gray paint and the big brush. So just like this. We're not gonna make them too high because you want them to be a little bit longer and flatter than high. So just like that is good. So you're gonna keep that as gray for now and then later we'll fill that in. All right. Now what we're gonna do is, again, you're gonna keep your big brush in the gray paint and we're gonna add an arch on the belly. So with the gray paint, you're gonna add a line that's arched from each foot. So you're gonna go from the left foot and make an arch over to the right foot. Just a line. Now you're gonna clean and dry your square brush. And once that's clean and dry, we're gonna go into the white paint and we're gonna fill in the panda's belly and head. So I'm gonna do the belly first. It's okay if it turns a little bit gray, but you're gonna to wanna to keep it inside the belly to avoid that happening. So just try to stay inside the lines as much as you can. And then later when we go over it, you won't be able to see the gray anymore. So just a little bit of white paint. You don't need too much paint. And 
And then when you're done with that, you're gonna fill in the head with the white again. So same thing, you don't need too much paint. We're gonna be going over the gray with black later on, so don't worry too much about how that looks right now. Just make sure that the middle of your head doesn't turn gray. So once you're done with that, we could put the big brush in the water and you could let that stay there. And now we're gonna use the dry round brush to fill in the ears and the feet with black. So dip that in the black paint. And I'm gonna do the feet first. So you could just dip it in the black paint and you could outline the feet and then color them in with black. All right, just like this. And especially with the black paint, you don't need too much of it because a little bit of the paint should cover a lot. All right, and now on to the other foot. All right. So once you have the two feet colored in, we're just gonna go over the ears with black as well. Okay, on to the next ear. Just about done with this one. Okay, so once we're finished coloring in the feet and the ears, we're gonna go ahead and stick with the brush we're using. And again, with the black paint, we are now going to outline the body here and the head with black, okay? So we could just, could go over the line that you originally made on each side 
and we're not going to fill in the belly where we painted white. We're going to go around that. So just like that for now, and then we're going to outline the head as well. And remember, especially for this step, not too much paint because we don't want it to drip down the rest of the panda. Okay. So this is what it should look like outlined now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in everything above the arch with black paint. Same small brush, black paint. And we're just going to go around the arch and fill all of this in. So this is what it should look like once that's filled in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the small brush in the water and we're going to go back to the big brush. So make sure that that's clean and dry. And we're going to take our green paint and we're going to fill in the entire background. So just everything outside the panda should be green. If you need to use the smaller brush to get closer to the panda, that's fine too. And if any paint smudges or colors mix or anything like that, you could always go back to it at the end. So don't worry too much about that right now. You just want to make sure that everything is filled in. Again, for this part too, a little bit of paint will cover a lot of the canvas. 
So just make sure that you're spreading it all out before going back for more paint. It may look a little streaky at first, but we could go back and fix that later as well. So just focus on covering everything. Remember, we could always go back and fill the panda with black again if you get some green on it. So that's okay. All right, so I'm just about done filling that in. you see any more white spots you could just fill them in and if you want to fix any of the streaks that you see that's fine too all right so we should have this now the whole background should be filled in with green All right. Okay. So now you can put your big brush back in the water. And now with the small brush, you can go back and if you need to outline the face again, you can. I'm going to do that just to make it a little bit more defined if you got any green on the canvas. And one more at the top. Okay. So now that we have the whole panda outlined and filled in, we're gonna go on to do the eyes. So again, with the small brush, small round brush, we're going to go into the black, not too much paint, and we're going to make two big eyes, okay? So you should have two eyes that look like this. And we're gonna fill those in. Okay, and fill in the other one. Remember we're painting over that white paint 
that we filled the head in with in the beginning so it might feel a little bit harder to cover. So you could use a little more paint if you have to. But otherwise you should have two eyes filled in just like this. Now from there, we're going to go ahead and do the nose and the mouth. So you could do an upside down triangle for the nose. Again with the black paint. And you could fill in the nose as well. You should have this and then for the mouth we're just gonna do two hooks coming out of the bottom of the nose so again with the black paint from the middle we're just gonna go up Okay, so you should have this. If you need to go over it at all, you can. Okay, and then once you're finished with that, we are going to clean the little brush because we're going to use the white now. Okay. With the white, we are going to go inside of the eyes. So just make sure that your eyes are dry before you do this part because you don't want the colors to mix. Just give me the file a second. So what we're gonna do for the eyes is we are going to add two dots at the top with the white and then about a little U-shaped at the bottom. So I'm gonna take my white and make a little circle here. on each side. So that's what the two circles are gonna look like. And then we are going to add the U and that's gonna be kind of around the bottom of the outline of the eye, not like a little one. So we're gonna go in like that. So that's what your eyes should look like. And now I'm just going to use my small brush to go back with the black paint and make any touch ups that may have mixed with the green paint or anything like that. So now's the time to do that if you need to make any changes. ears a little bit those in
okay so this is what we should have so far and now what we're gonna do for the background is we're gonna go in with the round small brush again and with our light green paint we are going to add some bamboo so you could dip your small brush in the green paint and what we're going to do is we're just going to make a line going up it might be a little hard to see at first but just go over it So we could add a couple of these lines across. I'm going to do two on each side of the panda. And if you need to put a little bit more paint on the brush in order for you to be able to see it better, that's also okay. Let's continue that on the bottom. Just going over the lines a little bit to make them a little more defined. So once you have those lines, might be a little hard to see since they're light, you're just going to go and make little lines across it. So kind of like a T shape. And you could just make two at a time, kind of in different sections of the line. You could see like that. All right, so this is your panda. If you have to add anything, if you'd like to add anything, or if you have to go in and fix anything, you can. OK. 
Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take the little brush and go into the white paint and we're gonna fill in the feet with two circles, two white circles on the inside of the black. And the same for the other foot. And just fill them in. But that is it for today. So this is what we have. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and everyone stay safe. And I hope to see you on some of our live Zoom sessions. Thank you guys.